Next, we're gonna do a multi-opening mat. Multi-opening mats are similar to offset mats. You need to take it on the back of your mat, do a complete layout of exactly what you want. Once you've done these hundreds of these, you're gonna do this without the layout, but for now, to save the materials, to make a really precision, nice product, first time out, do a layout. Lay out and write your dimensions and exact marks of where you want the cuts to happen. Once that's done, it's easy to just follow these guides and make the cuts. For instance, and what I, what I do is I also circle where my start and stop cuts are gonna be located, okay? So I won't make a mistake and cut all the way across there. I know that I'm not gonna cut here. No, I'm not gonna cut here. I know I'm not gonna cut here. So now what I do, I'm gonna adjust my margin guide two and a half inch. Beginning to cut two and a half inch, end to cut two and a half inch, okay? Okay, now that we've, we've um, used our margin guide to make help place our lines, we're gonna X where we're gonna cut out. And it's important to X where you're gonna cut out because the X always has to stay to the right side of your cutter blade. If you make it to the left side, you're gonna get a reverse bevel cut. We don't wanna do that. So that's my main problem I always mess up on. Our circles are where we're starting and stopping cuts. Okay, remembering always keep your X to the, to the right side. So we're gonna start with this one. We start with our title cut. We're gonna come down and use our start of finger guide. We've set that to zero and we can use that right on the pencil line. So we can't cut that cut because the X would be on the opposite side. So we can't do that cut, but we can do this cut. Start a finger cut to the pencil line, insert blade, cut to the stop. Insert blade, cut to your line. Okay, we can turn it, and as long as the X is to the right side, you can cut it. Okay, you can't cut this one because that would make it a reverse bevel, but we can cut this one. And we can cut this one because the X is on the right side. Okay, now we can come cut this one because we have the X to the right side. Start and stop at your circles. Those are your reminders that you wouldn't cut all the way through. Okay, we can also cut this little box, the title box here. I like this little device, this little start of finger device, a finger for measuring where your start and stops are gonna go. I'm missing one cut on that one still. Okay, and then I'm missing, I'm missing this cut. And I'm missing this cut, or this one. If you have it laid out, it really makes it easy to help do that. And then I'm missing this cut here. I love this lift and hold device because it makes it so easy to uh, move your mat board underneath without holding anything. Okay, here's our multiple opening cut. And the key to doing your multiple opening, again, is your layout on the back before starting your cut.